Today I started off by doing some work. Now I planned on doing a lot more work in the studio than I ended up doing, but that's just the nature of art making sometimes. And my intention was to get out a, a roll of brown paper, cut it to size. Actually, I measured it against a, um, a picture frame first because I got a couple of frames from a frame maker shop for free because they were unusual sizes. So I thought I can cut paper to this size, draw on it or cut MDF to the size, paint on it and then just fit it in. But I must admit with this paper, once I've drawn on it, I need to get some backing board. So I might go back to the frame shop to see if they can do that for me. Um, anyway, the point being is that that's what I was doing here. I was um, basically cutting to size the, uh, the paper and it takes a little bit longer than I thought it would. You know, I tried to do this fairly precise so that it fits in there okay. And then make sure that I don't damage the paper along the way because it's trying to preserve the uh, surface. But the intention is to do a soft pastel drawing or pastel painting. And I need to do several of these because I have two which I took around with me and I didn't show them to galleries, but I have promised these two pictures to three different galleries that I made years ago. So I'm making more so that I have a variety and therefore can fulfill my promise of having pastel paintings available. And I enjoy soft pastel paintings. I think they're really nice to do. So this was quite enjoyable for me to, uh, to reacquaint myself with soft pastels. And I mean, when I say this, this is going to sound like an excuse, but to be perfectly honest, the the most important thing here is not a likeness necessarily. It's to try and convey humanity and try to have personality in the image. And that is what I was really trying to do is capture some um, light shadow, but some personality and look like a real person, even if it's not the most accurate picture of the person who I had a a photo reference of um, and I'm going to do a few of these and they're not necessarily going to be great likenesses of the photo reference and it's not because that can't be done it's because I really am more focused on having a person in the picture than just having a replica of the image it's not always the most important thing you have to make decisions along the way to try to serve an image and sometimes that can be well I'm going to change the proportions of the face slightly or I'm going to darken this I'm going to change the color of that and those are the things that I think are important for me to do with these types of images so now it's not finished but I am um, only taking this image so far at the moment and then tomorrow I will be continuing with another one and leaving that up to a similar stage that I made this one. So if you are watching the daily uploads of the Inktober and vlogs, then you will see that tomorrow will be another face, and I'll probably just be spraying fixative on this one until I continue with it. So the plan is to just keep making them for the time being, and, uh, and yeah, to share the process with you, really. Now, after 
doing the pastel painting in the morning I had some dinner I ended up watching more cartoons again and if you watched my video yesterday that was something which I started to do and it just struck me again today that I wanted to watch some cartoons and I took a long break and I think it's because I've been so busy lately that I just felt like indulging myself in the entertainment that I really miss watching and it is comedy cartoons and that is something which I love. I also want to start watching more films again and when it gets towards winter I watch loads of films so I'm hoping to start making artwork either based on films or to discuss films whilst I'm making artwork because I think I'd find that interesting if I was watching an art channel to see how they process bits of other people's creative work so I want to share that with you because I, I watch a lot of crazy films that you may not have seen I'll also watch you know fairly well known films and I'll share my thoughts with that but I think that's where I might lose some of you in in our maybe alignment because I I have weird extreme opinions on films really and preferences which I think we all do to an extent but I'm really not in alignment with a lot of people about a lot of films so there we are that's something which I will do but uh, I'm slightly I don't know wary of how open to be about my opinion on some things I should maybe consider being a bit more uh, balanced I suppose with my description of, of the experience of watching certain films anyway this is all just to say that that's what I'll be doing during the winter for this Inktober uh, installment number 11 I have um, basically I didn't put the number on I'm gonna to have to put the number on as well I, uh, I basically I took three uh, images for uh, photo references um, one was an Instagram model and the other two was uh, were one was of um, I think it was from a power station and it's kind of a what looks like a lamppost but it has lots of different cables and attachments to it and I just found it really interesting aesthetically and I thought that can go in the background and then immediately behind the model is part of uh, brutalist architecture from I think Russia and I thought I'll just put that behind her because initially I thought it could serve as almost wings but now it's more I don't know it's more just uh shapes again to put in the background because I move things around and um, continue to use uh, artistic liberties with this image just like I did with the pastel painting in fact to a greater extent with this really um, but I think that's part of it that's what you've got the freedom to do and I like to take advantage of that because otherwise you are just serving as a photocopier and I don't really want to do that so I decided to move some things around, enlarge certain things and, you know, um, change the position and the tonality of certain aspects. Nothing to a great extent. And I would share the images, but I haven't asked for permission. And I don't know, maybe on my Patreon, I'll do an extended version of this image and basically show the names of the Instagram accounts where I got them from, because I'd like to offer that because there are great references on some accounts and um, it's been a long time since well I say a long time it's been quite a while since I've grabbed a, an image of a model from Instagram because I don't do that as often at the moment as I used to and I did used to enjoy trying to find someone who struck a good pose and had interest in lighting where you could see clear light and shadow which created a sense of drama so I thought I'll do that because it's a bit more effort to put into this drawing it's a bit more scribbly so as you saw at the beginning I started off with marking it up with a, a red pen because I thought I'll just get the loose lines down and then when I draw on top of it with black pen you'll see the red marks underneath it and they can just work together to make this image so I quite like it I'll do something different again tomorrow as always I'll try to vary up how I draw and what I draw and this one is quite different because it is using reference but it's you know trying to be creative within that process um but yeah i like some of the shapes there are parts where i think i could have gone further and created more i don't know more um definite depth 
because it, it's a little bit too much white for my liking, but I don't know. I don't really mind it too much. I think it's um, it's got a certain quality to it that appeals to me in the way of uh, being, uh, yeah, interesting. Having that humanity and that machinery combined is, is always, to me, quite a nice combination. <laughs>